The Money Etiquette Group presents School, Sports, and Money, the Truth Behind the Dollar. Right now, our children are on pace to be the most debt-ridden society of all time. We're talking about a generation that won't retire until they're in their 80s. We're talking about a generation that won't be able to pass down money to their children. This is because they're graduating with $30,000 in student loan debt. They're getting homes that cost $200,000 on average. They're getting $15,000 and $17,000 car loans right out of school. When you put this all together, you have a recipe for disaster. Financial debt and financial slavery. You said you don't have to have a car. That's true. But see, I'm not saying you, it's wrong to have a car. I'm just saying that whenever you take on that debt, think about it first. Ask yourself, how is this affecting my net worth? The word net worth has more meaning than the word rich and wealthy. Remember I said rich and wealthy are an opinion, right? Net worth is not an opinion. It's a fact. Those numbers that I brought up earlier with the million dollar guy that had 900 plus thousand dollars in debt, his net worth being $50,000 was a fact. That's not an opinion. That teacher having 80000 left over was a fact. Not fiction. It's not about feelings. So when people talk about money, if you're not talking about net worth, you ain't saying nothing. When you're talking rich, you ain't saying nothing. When you're talking poor, you're not saying nothing. All you're doing is talking. When you say I'm wealthy, I got this, I got that, you just talk. Now's the time to sign up. We can't delay on this matter any longer. You can sign up your children today at www.moneyetiquette.com. We'll sign up your football team, your basketball team, your tennis team. It doesn't matter. We know how to point our athletes in the right direction. We want to make sure yours are ready for success, whether they make it to the pros or not. Sign them up now. Thank you.